and a very warm welcome along to the ITF offices here in London, where today we will be conducting the draws for the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge finals and playoffs. I'm Catherine Whitaker, and joining me today to help with the draws are ITF President David Haggerty. David, welcome. 2023 Billie Jean King Cup finals head referee, Denise Parnell. Welcome, Denise. And the General Director of Sports Events at the region of Andalusia, Isabel Sanchez. We'll be hearing from Isabel shortly. The 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge season is already well underway. And we witnessed some fantastic tennis at the nine qualifier ties and three regional Group 1 events which took place last month. Two weeks ago, the ITF announced that the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup finals would be hosted in the stunning city of Seville. Let's take a look at what awaits the 12 nations in the finals in November. Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with the attitude the way you like it. Some great memories in there and I'm sure plenty more to be made this November. I'm delighted now to be joined by ITF President David Haggerty. David, welcome. Thank you. Before we look ahead, let's just take a quick moment to look back at the qualifiers from last month. If you can, can you pick out one or two highlights for us? Well, I think what we saw about the, the qualifiers, the nine events that we had, the great fan engagement, the way the players really performed well. I was fortunate. I was in Slovenia, and I watched a great comeback. They lost the first two matches against Romania and were able to come back uh, and win the tie uh, over three days because of weather-related things. But it was really exciting to see that, that atmosphere. And, of course, Billie Jean King Cup is about many, many nations that compete at the Group 1 stage and all levels of the competition. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, that Slovenia tie was incredible. You announced earlier this month, as we've been saying, that the finals are to be hosted by Seville. What an incredible city. What a region. How much are you looking forward to heading to Andalusia in November? Well, we have a special partnership with Andalusia. And uh, we have our 2022 Davis Cup Final 8. We're held in Malaga. In Seville, we're looking forward to having the Billie Jean King Cup Finals. And then in Cordoba, we have our junior Billie Jean King Cup and Davis Cup uh, finals later this year as well. So great region. Looking forward to all the competitions. Good news for tennis fans in Seville, I think. And finally, David, I think the Billie Jean King Cup is hitting a pretty special milestone in 2023. Please tell us a little bit more about it. Well, it's, it's the 60th anniversary and it started back at Queens Club in 1963. And the United States, led by Billie Jean King, uh, won the cup. So uh, it was called the Federation Cup back then. But since then, uh, renamed after Billie Jean King, who uh, either won it uh, or was captain nine times throughout the history. And, of course, the iconic Billie Jean King, now is named, the cup is named after her. And rightly so. David, thank you very much. As you said, the competition is marking its 60th year in 2023. And one person who competed, as we've been hearing, in the, inauguration, in the inaugural Federation Cup, as it was then called, in 1963, was none other than the woman after whom the cup is now named. Let's hear from Billie Jean King herself. Hello, Catherine. And hello to everyone watching. 2023 is a landmark year for the Women's World Cup of Tennis. This competition has been breaking new ground for women in sport for six decades and is well-placed to become even bigger and bolder. It gives me great pride to see a record of 135 nations enter this year. To the players and captains, I wish you luck. I'm always in awe of the pride you show when you represent your nation. To the fans, enjoy the draw. I hope you're excited to see which nations your home team will match up against, whether your team is in the playoffs or the finals. And thank you so much for your continued support 
of the largest annual women's team competition in international sport, and I hope to see you in Sevilla. Catherine, it's back to you to take us through the draw. Thank you, Billie Jean. An incredible woman and an incredible glasses collection. We know that players and fans are always thrilled to hear from you. It really is a treat. And it is time now to begin the draws. We will start with the draw for the Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge Playoffs, which will be played on either the 10th to the 11th or the 11th to the 12th of November this year. The playoffs are a crucial rung on the Billie Jean King Cup ladder. The winning teams in the playoffs will advance to the qualifiers next year and have a chance to compete to win the Billie Jean King Cup title in 2024. Losing teams, however, will have to return to the regional Group 1 events next season. I'm now going to hand you over to Denise Parnell to take us through the draw. Catherine, thank you. The 16 teams competing in the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge Playoffs are the losing nations from the 2023 qualifiers and the best performing teams from the three regional Group 1 events, which also took place last month. Today, we will be drawing eight home and away ties, which will take place in November. The eight nations with the highest rankings on the current Billie Jean King Cup Nations ranking are seeded for this draw. The seeded nations are Slovakia on line one, Belgium on line two, Great Britain on line three. Brazil on line four. Ukraine on line five. Romania on line six. Japan on line seven. And Mexico on line eight. Now the eight unseeded nations are Argentina, Austria, Serbia, the Netherlands, Hungary, Sweden, Colombia, Korea Republic. And we will now place the eight unseeded nations into the Billie Jean King Cup trophy and draw each unseeded nation one by one against a seeded nation. David, if you would draw the balls out, please. Thank you. Playing against Slovakia will be Argentina. Choice of ground, Slovakia. Playing against Belgium will be Hungary. Choice of ground by lot. We now put two balls, seeded and unseeded, into here. And the ball that comes out will be the team that has choice of ground. So the seeded nation, Belgium, will have the choice of ground. Great Britain will play Sweden. Choice of ground, Great Britain. Brazil will play Korea Republic. Choice of ground by lot.
So the seeded team of Brazil will have choice of ground. Ukraine will play Netherlands. Choice of grounds by lot. The seeded team of Ukraine will have choice of grounds. Due to the current situation in Ukraine, the ITF and the Billie Jean King Cup Committee will work with the Ukrainian Tennis Federation to confirm the choice of ground and a hosting location for that tie in due course. Okay. Romania will play Serbia. Choice of ground, Serbia. Choice of ground, Serbia. Japan will play Colombia. Choice of ground by lot. Choice of ground by lot. The seeded team of Japan will have choice of ground. Mexico will play Austria. Choice of ground by lot. Of ground by lot. The unseeded team of Austria will have choice of ground. And that concludes the draw for the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge Playoffs. Catherine, back to you. Denise, thank you. Some fantastic ties in there. I'm already excited about a Great Britain home tie in November. A reminder that they will be played on either the 10th to the 11th of November or the 11th to the 12th of this year. It's time now to turn our attention to the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge finals, which, as we've heard, will be played on the 7th to the 12th of November this year. Before we get to the draw, let's remind ourselves of the 12 teams who will be competing to be crowned the 2023 World Champions in Seville. Some incredible teams there with such rich histories in the competition. Before we get to the draw, we are very pleased to say that Isabel Sanchez, the General Director of Sports Events at the Region of Andalusia, is with us today to help with the draw. And Isabel, please, could we invite you to say a few words for us? Thank you, Catherine. Good evening. It's a real honour for me to represent the Andalusia government. First of all, I would like to greet all the authorities here today, especially the president of the ITF, 
David, thank you for your hospitality. When we knew about the possibility of hosting the Billie Jean King Cup in Andalusia, we didn't hesitate at all, and we are committed into it uh, from the start. For the Andalusia government, the trust uh, that the ITF uh, put on us once again is a satisfaction, and we are really thank you for that. Our community will become the first region to host the Davis Cup, the Billie Jean King Cup, and the junior category of both events. This is a dream come true. Andalusia is a an special region, very beautiful. Our geographical environment, the historical and monumental legacy, the weather, our unique gastronomy, and some crazy people that we are working in the sports, in the government, that we, we have dreams, and until we don't get it, we don't rest. Uh, all this make Andalusia a privileged destination to host competition corresponding to any sporting disciplines. Talking about tennis, it's a, sp it's a sport in our land uh, with a long tradition, many kids playing and a lot of fans that enjoy all the events. That's why celebrating a world-class event like the Billie Jean King Cup put us again in the international stage. If to this we add other international events that we host in Andalusia, like Davis Cup, uh, Moto GP, the Sail GP in, for sailing, Solheim Cup for golf, the King's Cup of soccer or rugby, or the Centenary of the Spanish Basketball Federation, we can say that Andalusia has rightly become an ideal place to host the finest world sporting event. Thank you, David, again for the trust put on us, and we'll see each other in your new house, Andalusia. Thank you. Isabel, thank you so much. You're making me want to book flights to Andalusia now. It is uh, now over to Denise once again to conduct the draw for the finals. Thank you again, Catherine. The 12 teams competing in the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge finals are the 2022 champions, Switzerland, the 2022 runners-up, Australia, the nine winning teams from April's qualifier ties, and the wildcard nation, Poland. The 12 nations have been placed in three pots, with the four seeded nations in pot one and the remaining eight nations placed in pots two and three, according to their current Billie Jean King Cup nations ranking. For the seeded nations in pot one, we will place them on line one on each of the four groups, so let's do that now. On line one in group one are the number one seeds, the 2022 champions, Switzerland. On line one in group B are the number two seeds, the 2022 runners-up, Australia. Line one in group B. On line one in Group C are the number three seeds, Spain. And on line one in Group D are the number four seeds, France. Next, we will draw the nations in pot two onto line two in each group. The four nations in pot two are Czechia, Canada, Kazakhstan, and Italy. So let's place those four nations in the trophy now. And Isabel and David will draw them into the four groups. And I will ask Isabel to take the first ball, please. Thank you. Joining Switzerland in Group A, Czechia. Joining Australia in Group B, Kazakhstan.
Joining Spain in Group C is Canada. And joining France in Group D, Italy. And lastly, we will draw the nations in pot three onto line three in each group. The four nations in pot three are USA, Germany, Poland, and Slovenia. Again, we will place those nations into the trophy, and Isabel and David can draw them out one by one. David, if you would take the first ball, please. Thank you. Thank you. Completing Group A is the USA. Okay. Completing Group B is Slovenia. Completing Group C is Poland. And finally, completing Group D is Germany. The last thing we have to do today is to make the draw for the knockout stage of the finals. And the winners of the four groups will progress to the semi-finals and we will make the draw for the semi-final now. We'll begin by placing the winners of group A onto line one. And the winners of group B onto line four. And now we'll draw the winners of group C and D out to go onto lines two and three. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, David, please. Thank you. Thank you. Playing against the winner of group A in the semi-finals will be the winner of group C. Isabel, thank you. And playing the winner of Group B in the semi-finals is the winner of Group D. And that concludes the draw for the 2023 Billie Jean King Cup by Gamebridge Finals. Thank you. Denise, thank you. And thank you also to David and to Isabel for your help with the draw today. Some incredible ties thrown up there for the finals. You've got the all-European all Group D, France, Italy and Germany. Spain with the home advantage in Group C. They'll take on Canada and Poland. Kazakhstan, of course, led by reigning Wimbledon champion Elena Rabakina. They faced the challenge of Australia last year's finalists in Slovenia. And how about Group A? The defending champion Switzerland drawn to face Czechia and USA. I've done some rudimentary maths and I make it 30 Billie Jean King Cup titles in Group A alone. So the mouth waters. I think we're already all looking forward to a fantastic finals in Seville in November. The schedule for the 2023 finals will be published in the coming weeks. And don't forget to keep an eye on the Billie Jean King Cup website and on the social media channels for details of when tickets go on sale. That's it from us. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for being here. Goodbye.